Hello everyone, welcome back. In my previous video, I talked about how to set up the Python development environment on Raspberry Pi. In my channel, I have received a lot of questions about speech recognition and how to set it up. So in today's video, I'd like to focus on this topic. So before I get started, let me log into my Raspberry Pi first. Okay, let's go to our project folder. Now let's create a folder for our project. And we call it a speech to text. And now let's go to this folder. Before we can run some Python program, let's install some packages for processing all the data. Alright, now let's activate our Python virtual environment we created in my previous video. Now we can install some Python packages we are going to need later on. Okay, now let's take a look at this example here. And in this pattern program, we are going to do a speech recognition with the Google Speech API. So at first, we import the two packages, and then we initialize the speech recognition package, and we set the energy threshold to 400, which works well in a quiet place. And then we adjust the microphone for the ambient noise, and then we start recording the audio here. Once we have the audio file, and then we send that to Google Speech API for uh, speech recognition, and uh, we save the result into this text verb, and then we print that out over here. So it's a very simple program. Now let's transfer this to Raspberry Pi, and then we can run that and do a test. Hello, how are you? All right, you can see over here, it recognized my voice and uh, converted that into a text. Let's do a test again. Hello, can you tell me a story? All right, as you can see, it is working now. If you want to learn more about this speech recognition package from Google, please check out this reference document. It tells you all the information about the arguments, and also it has a list of languages it supports. So you can see here, there are a lot of languages it supports. So give this a try. I will put a link to this page as well as the link to my GitHub page for this project, where you can find all the packages I installed as well as all the commands I used in this video. So please check it out. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And leave your questions and suggestions in the comment section below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Please subscribe to our channel as I have more videos like this coming up very soon. See you next time. Bye-bye.